Okay. We're gonna get to do this, so let's get started. Let A equals to array. Cool. Now we're gonna A push. Um something. Push it. A not defined. A equals to A equals something. So A dot push something. Okay, cool. So now A has something there. So A has something. So A zero something. Let's a dot push. That will add something new. Let's add. Let's add a number. Let's add one. A dot push again. Let's add a true. Okay, cool. That's three items. So a is three items. So this is an array. So we can add items on it. The whole point of a array is to store a list, and we have a list now. So it goes through zero, one, two. So we have three items. Cool. So that's how we're gonna start. Our list. So we're also gonna pop it. So a dot pop, and then we'll remove one. We can store it in random variable. Let's call this variable b. Cool. And a has two items now. So b is the pop. So b is true because I removed it. Pop removes it, and I also stored it in b because that's what that does. So, so we got the basic functionality of our program. So let's create a to uh to do list. Cool. Let's get started. So let's make this guy a little bit bigger. Cool. Oh, that's a bit too big. Bar to do equals to that. For all the blind people out there. Okay. Next, we're gonna create a namespace. So so let's create a namespace. It can be a little smaller, it's too big. Let's be that. For the blind people out there. I'm not one of them. Cool. Alright. Okay, let's. Actually, let's make that pretty. Let's start with uh, add. We're gonna create a function that adds. So, our argument is gonna be A. And we're gonna push it. We're gonna to do dot push to A. We're gonna do a remove. So function. And we're gonna to do pop. Cool. Semicolon, semicolon, semicolon. Okay, so it's got a little bit smaller. Yeah, it's easy. Yeah, it's easy. Okay. So we got a program. Let's uh let's add something. So we're gonna We're gonna add hi space. We're gonna add another thing. We're gonna add random things because I don't want to add. And we're gonna see console log Okay. Copy paste. Let's go to a function. Nope. Uh, so, okay. Let's clear this guy up. Clear. Clear. Go. And then we got all that. So, these are in the array. Cool. Throw that. Now let's do a for loop. Let's do a right item. So let's do deep space at one. Add that. So I have three items. 
So we're gonna list all these items out. So it's gonna be four i equals to zero. And next is gonna be oh crap bar. Bar. Very important. And then it's gonna be i is to do length, comma i then we're going to console log to do i so it's going to loop i for every item so it's going to go hi name one this is a for loop so it's going to loop so it starts from zero it's going to loop so every time it loops this gets smaller so this is going to be like right now it's two like oh right now like it'll go for example, it has three items in there, right? But it's crowds from zero. So right now it's like two, then it goes to one, then it goes to zero. Because console.log to do zero. Starting from two. And it'll show one. And then when it shows one, right here, it'll show name. And when it shows zero, it'll show hi. So why am I making this very simple program? Because this is a very simple JavaScript tutorial and I want you guys to learn it. Because I basically create a function and then I create an object. So this is like very simple object oriented programming for JavaScript. It makes it so much easier. You don't even need a new, you just wrap it around these two curly braces and you get an object. Because everything is an object and a function in JavaScript which is so awesome okay so let's plop this guy let's clear clear cool let's copy and paste this entire guy into the function and hopefully it doesn't break So you printed it, hi, name, one, cool. Awesome, right? So, okay, let's try removing an item. Uh, let's remove, let's remove the last item. There's gonna be two items after work. Okay. There's two items now, because I removed one, the one right here. Remove because I removed it. The pop. I already showed you the beginning of the draw. So that's my to do list app. Very simple. What if I move, what if I move a specific one? I'll work on that later. I think I use a splice function. And yeah, to move a specific one, I use splice. But this is my 16 line simple little function. I should put the for loop in this too, and then every time I can just go uh, like a training function called list. Uh, why not? Comes up list function. And we can store this function in list. And then crap what I did. What did I do? I have to that. That's right. Cool. And now I can just go in space. List. And I'll list. Let's try that. Clear. Paste. Cool. And this is the function. Cool. Is that cool? That's object oriented programming for you. So, yeah. So, this is like, for example, this is like an API, and then 
you have these functions right here. I'm like, I want to add a name, add something, I remove something. Can you give me a list of items? Boom. That's what that does. And then for this program, you can add more things to it. Like, I'm not even sure where I should have the source under. It might or might not. Not feeling it. Well, so basically, you can like store. What's this called? I don't know what it's called. Method? <laughs> yeah, method. And then you're creating a function for the method. So this is a very simple program where you create like a method is like doing something. So you store the method in a function. There's another way to write a function. The other way to write a function is like this. This is a new way, which is uh, ES6. So yeah. And you don't need these curly braces, so it'll just be like that, and then this. Yeah, but you usually have to use use strict. You strict always oh, use strict. Why you strict? Because it catches all your bugs and it'll break it for you. Because you can like loosely type things you don't use strict, and then the program will break it. You don't know, but use strict will be like, hey, what's going on? I just break it. And yeah, and functions can always return objects. Go return, return object, return objects, object. Yeah, stuff like that. I gotta look at the code and remember. I'm just really tired. I always do these really tired. So, I hope you guys learned something from my tutorial. Till next time, guys, and keep on hacking. I hope you learned from my simple. Well, I just showed you how to make a simple little API. <laughs> Which is pretty cool. So, this is the bare minimum. So, you know, at like this much, you can make very simple programs, but this is a simple to do list. So, and I showed you how to like put functions and create methods in the object. Uh, I showed you how to do a for loop, which you loop in an array. There's different kind of loops, but most of the time you're just looping something. You're like basically you're grabbing a database full of objects. This is a very simple one. This is a very simple little database. It doesn't have like, but you can create a database with like this stuff too, like an object. Like it'll have. We'll only store functions. We'll just store like uh, a list, like an array, or like uh, what's the property? You'll be like that text. We'll spit out that. Whatever it could be a number, it could be true or false. It could be like anything. So yeah, that's like MongoDB, which I don't want to go into right now because this is a very simple to do this app and. Uh, so yeah, so nice thing guys, bye.